We are talking to J.G. Hertzler. That's right. Good. Well done. I remembered. I remembered. <laughs> Actor. Klingon. So watch yourselves around this guy. He'll uh, well, rip as long you apart. Well, as, as long as you stay in the camera, you're safe back there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, tell, us, tell us about being a Klingon. What, what, is, what does it take to be a good Klingon? Uh, mental uh, instability for the most part. Um, uh, I was a linebacker in uh, high school and college, and I think the Klingons are basically, from my point of view, a race of linebackers. And uh, by that I mean that we sort of operate at the edge of insanity. Uh, the Klingons are not insane, but we're on the edge of insanity at all times. So that's basically, the passion definitely overcomes the, uh, the cerebral, the intellect, you know. That, that might be one of the best descriptions of a Klingon that I've ever heard. But how many have you heard? A few, a but few? not 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 one quite that good. I think that was eloquently put. I don't think. Oh well, I feel I feel pretty good about myself right now. Thank you. All right, as you should, <laughs> as you should. So uh, obviously, uh, General Martog from DS9. Yes. And uh, Voyager, where you were. I was uh, in Voyager. I played a um, Herogen named uh, in uh, Hager. A Herogen in the episode called Tsunkatsi also, uh, with uh, The Rock was in that and um, and it was basically I had to wrestle with seven of nine for eight days. That sounds horrible. Yeah, you know, somebody yeah. has to stand up and take a bullet for the rest of us. Yeah, you know what I, I mean, mean? So that's what I did. I said, You, you okay. poor man. It yeah. must have been a horrid experience. It I can't rough. even imagine. She pulled a, uh, a gluteus maximus muscle uh, on her first day and I had to, I, I immediately, uh, I, I, I I should be an uh, an EM uh, EMS um, sports medicine yeah sports masseuse. medicine emergency medicine. Um, I I leapt to the fore and uh, massaged her uh, gluteus maximus to get that Charlie horse out because it, it was I, debilitating. I think we all would. We would all take, would. would. In take fact, that there shit. were about twelve oh. guys there. I'm sure there was yeah. a line. I'm sure there was. It was very hands on. <laughs> And uh, again, the Herogen also kind of a similar to the Klingons, a very no. The Herogen, the Herogen was very much they're they're a lot they're maybe I'm getting them confused. The Herogen were so very they're the hunters. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They're very um, single-minded, that's for sure. But they're they're not nearly as crazy passion-oriented mm -hmm. as a Klingon is. Uh, the Herogens are very sort of very cold hunters, and um, fascinating race though. It's um, it was a lot of fun to play a Herogen. So, you yeah. you kind of get typecast as big killer racist. Yeah, I do. That, that's because I was a linebacker. The, <laughs> that's uh, that's the Herogen in Seven of Nine, and I'm reaching across. I don't know when this moment is, but I'm I'm sort of reaching like, across, and it doesn't look very. Uh, you got Proper. Watch your hands, there, everybody. Yeah, Watch your hands. Exactly. And of course, you were also on Enterprise. Yes, I did a couple things on Enterprise. I was, um, I don't have any more, oh yes, there's that, this is uh, audiovisual aids here. That <laughs> is um, my character, Kolos, with uh, Scott Bakula's uh, Archer, Captain Archer on Enterprise. We were, we were on the prison planet Rura Penthe at that point. Uh, it was very cold there. But uh, I had a great deal of fun with that one too. And I love Scott, I got to, I, uh, about 18 years ago, I was on uh, Quantum Leap with Scott, yeah. with Scott, and I got to punch him in the nose on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I felt good about nice. that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, he's he's one of the one of the guys I hope to meet 
someday at a con. Oh yeah, he's, he, he'll be here. Yeah, I've I've been a big a fan of his ever since Quantum Leap. So yeah. really looking forward to meeting him. And I kind of feel bad about Enterprise because everyone gives it a bad rap, but I I liked it. I, I don't care what people say. I thought he was a good captain. I did too. I thought he was a terrific captain, and I really liked looking at T-Pole. Oh yeah, uh, Jolene Blaylock. So yeah, Jolene. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jolene. If you get this, just you know, stop by anytime. I and always have dinner waiting for you. We had the same birthday, Jolene. Just, just. He's only saying. I'm just saying. You know. it, it, it could be an omen. So well, it may be hope. an omen. Yeah, an, an omen. <laughs> an omen. Is that a good thing? Is an omen a good thing? Sometimes it, it can be. Maybe it's, a harbinger it, it, or a, a emblematic or <laughs> uh, augurs. It augurs well for uh, <laughs> for this gentleman. Yes. Very poignant, very poignant. We don't have the same birthday, Jolene, but it mocks Nick's. Come on and we'll have dinner, okay? <laughs> Call me. Uh, well, if, if, she, if she does, then, you know, we, you got to give us all the juicy details afterwards. You no, know? I, I don't believe I'll be doing uh, that. <laughs> we, we tried. We tried. Yeah. So, do you have any current projects work in the works? Well, besides Renegades, are you familiar with Renegades? I know of it. I don't know a whole lot about it. Do, do enlighten me. Do enlighten me. Well, it's a follow-up uh, film to Gods and Men, which went pretty well. Uh, and a lot of the same people are in it. Uh, Walter and Adrienne next to us is perhaps the most stunningly beautiful woman in the world. Um, yes, very seductively playing on her phone over She is. There. She's very busy. She's a very busy woman. <laughs> but... Um, uh, and uh, did I say Walter and yes. uh, Garrett Wong? And uh, Tim Graham Russ, Green, I believe. Tim Russ is directing and in it. Uh, and a few other, uh, Manu, a really in incredibly uh, talented cast. Um, and it's a great story. So I, we, I, I am not allowed to say anything about it. No spoilers. Because if I, say do, if I do say something, it's no matter what I say, it'll be a spoiler, and I can't do it, so... But I do play the bad guy, and I will say that. You a bad guy? Never. Yeah, it, it, I know it's hard. To str it'll be a stretch for me, but I, I'll, I'll work hard at it. You, I'm sure you got the acting chops. I'm sure. I'll, I'm sure I'll, you'll pull it off. I'm sure. You I will chew the scenery, <laughs> you know, and break everything I can. <laughs> Breaking stuff is fun. I, I, I encourage it. Yeah, I, I see that in you. It I see it in your eyes. I, I, I work security at hotels, and every now and then people get locked out, and I got I to gotta pull out my wampin' stick, and I got to break in the window, and it, ooh, it's fun ooh. times, man, fun times. Fun times, fun times. So where can people find out more about Star Trek Renegades? There's a website, renegades.com, I believe, or Renegades the Movie. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, we'll find out. We'll have yeah. it put here. But... Um, if you just Google in Renegades uh, and uh, Star Trek, I think you'll find it. Awesome. Um, and I have a micro studio, which I, I run myself with a few people up in uh, yeah. the Finger Lakes area, upstate New York. We produce small films. Oh, so we're plug doing away, low, plug away. Uh, we're doing low, um, low budget independent films, sci-fi as well as some political thrillers. So that's, that's where I spend most of my time. We, we know all about no budget, low budget. We know exactly. all about that. That's where we are. But, you know, with the computer, with the digital age, it makes it all possible, mm -hmm. very possible. And it's there's a tremendous cadre of people that have left L.A., left New York City, and have migrated to upstate New York that uh, know how to make movies. And so we've all gathered together in, a, uh, in our own studio now, and we're, that's what we're doing. Sounds like we need to go to New York. Upstate New York. It's cold in the winter. Don't come in the winter time. Cold I can handle. I I, I, I don't like this Texas heat. Man. I hear you. I, we're, we're from out of Austin, and you get this 100 degrees with a, a 98, 100% humidity, and it's, yeah. it's awful. Yeah, you even have some green up there, though, don't you? Some a little green. bit. We yeah. got a little bit. A little bit of green still up there, but it, it's fading. It's fading fast. Yeah. So, awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, also, do you have Facebook, websites, or just your uh, studio? Uh, yeah, no. Facebook is. Uh, I think it's. I think it's John Dot Hertzler twenty one. No, that's Skype. Um, Facebook. Oh, my Facebook is John, middle initial G, dot, uh, space last name Hertzler, and that's you can find me on Facebook. 
Awesome. And I rant a lot, and I usually answer people, so it's not a fan page, it's my page. Sounds cool. Yeah, uh, have to check you out and look forward to reading some of your rants. Yeah, I love well, a good rant. Well, good luck with it, because I, I, I argue with a lot of people. There's a lot of folks that find uh, room to disagree with me on my rants, so, but I love it, so it's fun. And it's always entertaining. So. It is entertaining. Awesome. Take care, guys. Awesome. It's been fun talking with you. We well, look, the we fun look, has uh, been mine. And we look I, forward uh, to doing it again. Yeah, I'll come back here. All right. Hasta luego.